E. Learning System. Good day, everyone. We are the e-learning system. E-learning system is a virtual classroom that helps both teachers and students to interact, especially in our generation right now by using the hybrid way of teaching by using the online and the face-to-face. So we have the three platform, which is the admin, faculty, and the students. The first one is the admin. So admin has a different kind of modules. We had the master list, maintenance, and the approval. So in the master list, we have the students, faculty, class, and then in the maintenance, we have the academic year and semestral, department, course, subject, faculty manager, and then the approval, which is the student pending registration. So in the students, we can add students or we can simply register to our, to our register form. And then the next one is the faculty. So we can simply add a new faculty or, or we can simply register. And then we can we have class. So in class we have the we have to identify which is the course section and the year level of the students. So in the maintenance we have the academic year and then or the school year semestral and then the status. So we have the department. So we can add a different department. We have the course. So we can add different kind of courses. We have the subject. So we can add a new subject. And then the faculty manager is the one that who can set the the the, the class of the of a specific section. So in a in a department we can set the different kind of departments and then the sub and then the select class which is the for example is the BSS 1A. So we can load the section of different kinds of teachers or the faculty and then there are different kinds of subjects. So we can upload this it and then we we have and then we update their subject. And then the in the student pending registration, which is the to identify the student who who, who have been registered to our learning platform so we have we identify it by using the pending approve and the decline what happened when, when we approve the student so when we approve the students the specific student receive a notification for his gmail account like this your account has been approved or what happened when we decline the students or return it to the pending so we can return it the to the pending so the student can register so and then it's returned to the pending so we can decline it so the student is declined or we can delete permanently the students that we've declined and then the next one is the faculty so the faculty is the one who who is the specific professor or the teacher of a student so in the faculty you have the class in the lesson that we can view lesson or simply we can add to a specific class and section and your level we can add a new lesson and then in this class lessons we have indicate the class your level and then and then their sections and then the subject code is the professor who handled the different kind of section or your level so we have the class lessons activity and then the media we can upload file and then next one is the student so in student we can see our lesson guide in the dashboard uh, so in the subjects we can see the subject code description and the instructor that indicate the students um, subject 
or enroll subject of a student. So we can see the lesson of the student or the upload lesson of a professor to a specific subject. And then the backpack of the students. So we're going back this. We can register for the student registration. Like this. And then we have the faculty registration. Like this. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the e-learning system that helps both students and teacher to a virtual classroom to a hybrid learning system. That's all and I thank you. Thanks for watching.